welcome everybody once again here from my little basement base diecast studio in Bavaria in Germany and welcome to a special episode. This is my first diorama. I made it all by myself and today I wanted to show it to you. So now before you start commenting down below this diorama is not perfect. Most of all, it's not perfect to scale, not perfect uh, perfect to 164 scale. I mean, I tried my best, but you get to a certain point when you reach your limits, and um, I have to say I, I got to that point. This diorama took me, it's hard to say, I think a couple of weeks, like most of you guys, I work full time, I have a family, two children, so sometimes it's hard to find the time to work on stuff like this. And uh, as I already mentioned, it was the first time. So what I did was watching some YouTube tutorials how to do this, but um, a lot of this stuff was kind of trial and error and as I said it's not perfect but there are some details that I have to say I'm yeah a little bit proud of um, that it worked out like um, I hoped or maybe mostly like I hoped so uh, first of all why did I do this I mean um, I saw a lot of uh, pictures on Instagram when guys show their diecast stuff with the dioramas it looks so cool on pictures i mean it brings your diecast alive and i mean for the money <laughs> this diorama um, cost me i mean i could have bought one already diorama there are some cool of these ready dioramas but um, i think sometimes they do look a little bit artificial or clean and i tried to give this diorama kind of a weathered look. Mm, I don't know, if I was successful, I think it's quite okay. So, um, now um, I'm going to tell you um, some things about it, how I did it. Um, if you are interested in something that I don't mention, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer your questions or maybe I will do another with you and show some stuff. So, this um, base here is just a, a, a wooden, uh, wooden board. I um, painted it and as I said I tried to give it this um, kind of uh, weathered look with some oil stains and stuff like that. Um, and as I said, I made all of this stuff myself. So all this um, this board work here, and also this um, yeah this uh, tuning uh, garage and this uh, little showroom here. It's all made out of I think it's called PVC foam board. Um, um, I I just bought it on Amazon, and uh, yeah, then you have to cut it out and paint it and yeah uh, I have to say it's it's a lot of work and it took me longer than I thought it would. I think uh, most of the time I spent with building this um, yeah this whole house and also this sign as you can see up right here is my logo the P and here in the back you can see also uh, yeah, kind of a sign with my logo on it. And um, yeah, besides this PVC foam board, I tried to use stuff that you maybe have at home. Uh, so this thing here is, um, is a barbecue skewer. And, uh, and also these, uh, these posts here, also all barbecue skewers. I cut them to the right size, um, glued them together and painted them in silver. As you can guess, yeah, it's a lot of work. And this fence that you can see here in the back is also made of these um, barbecue skewers and um, 
the, the fence itself is um, a part of, I think it's called a laundry net. And uh, yeah, again, glued it together, or cut it to the right size, glued it together and painted it silver. The sign here is, uh, is a straw that I also um, painted silver. And yeah, the idea was, um, or I can show it to you, the thing is what I wanted um, so badly was an illumination of the signs. First of all, as you can see right here in the background, the whole um, tuning garage and the showroom is illuminated. So you can turn the lights off and on. And now take a look at the, at the sign right here. It's, um, it's also illuminated and the wiring for sure goes through this um, painted straw. And uh, the sign here in the background of the parking lot is also illuminated. I mean, it does not look perfect, but um, and next time I think I would do it in another way. But as I said, um, yeah, I'm kind of proud that it um, does work. So um, yeah, what else can I show you? Um, this um, house I made um, I made two parts so you can take this uh, top off and um, yeah maybe do something in this um, tuning shop and also here on the top you can you can take it off and uh, yeah put a car or more cars in it some diecast figures and uh, this tree. Uh, <laughs> I think um, I, I would do it in another way next time, but um, I think it, yeah, it's quite okay. So um, this um, trunk itself is made out of uh, wire and some yeah, kind of plasticine that gets um, yeah, hard in the end when it dries. And these leaves if you uh, can call it like that um, this is this is a sponge <laughs> that I put into a mixer to get these little pieces and I dipped these little pieces into paint and you can guess it was a lot of work to put all these little pieces here on on the tree I think there I guess there are some methods that are easier and, and next time I, I yeah as I said I would do it in another way what I did not made by myself um, are these street lamps that you can see here I just ordered them on eBay and they also do a work I don't know if you can see it so maybe here on the, on the side you can see it on and off. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's kind of a wild wiring <laughs> going on underneath this uh, wooden board. Um, but, um, you know, the main thing is it works and it does work. So, um, all in all, I have to say, I'm really happy with it. I also well, I already did shoot some photos with it and I think it does look kind of cool. And I have to say, I did learn a lot and I think um, the next time it will be better. I think I will do a little break in building dioramas, but um, I'm pretty sure I will do one or two more. Maybe next time, uh, kind of a mountain diorama, a mountain road with a parking space or something like that. But I think um, maybe in the future I will do something similar like that with all of the stuff that I learned. Uh, I think um, I'm able to do it um, better. But for the next time, um, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know if I do unboxing videos with this um, diorama. Maybe, um, yeah, I will try it out. So, uh, yeah, I think that's all I can tell you so far. Once again, if you have any questions, write in the comments down below. 
I say thank you for watching. Happy hunting. See you next time. Bye.